Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in again, continuing our streak, and this time we are going to jump in and randomize. We got Bethany. Interesting. Okay. Um, we're going to do um, some greedier mode. Because, one, I have a new mod, but for two, I just feel like it. It's been a little while. Um, I am intrigued by some greedier, so let's go. We get marbles off the bat, which is unfortunately mostly useless. Uh, and we also get... What the hell? Okay. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> Apparently it had significant... Oh, God. <laughs> it had significant trouble replacing our head with the Harlequin head. So instead it replaced our body and just got rid of our head. Um, Odd. That was bad. Just don't get hit again. We'll be fine. <laughs> right. Okay. Weird start. Weird start. That is fantastic. The silver bar as well. <laughs> we got some really peculiar stuff going on here. Really peculiar stuff indeed. Um, <laughs> the Harlequin thing is so funny. So I think the Harlequin thing just makes you shoot like bloody shots every now and again. Dude, 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 dude. Thank God. Yeah, like that look. Thank God that dude died then with the uh, silver bar because that was almost really frustrating. Honestly, silver bar is going to hopefully... Protect our limb getting wisps somewhat. I have to say the Harlequin item isn't so good, but I will say the visual glitches that it produces are mighty fantastic. Just the best. So I will stand by them. Probably should have killed the other dude first, but it's okay. Yeah, the Harlequin shots don't do too much apart from create some creep, really. So, and yeah, the marble marbles... We don't even have a trinket right now, so Marble does nothing. Ooh, Eye of Greed is potentially incredible. Um, is Eye of Greed the one that spends money, though? It might well be, because if it is, it's not great. We have to be very accurate. There you go. We have to be very accurate, because if we do hit with an Eye of Greed tier, we get some extra good stuff from it. So I'm trying to be... I think it's every, like, seventh or eighth shot. Maybe it's random. Okay, it must be random because it's just not firing. Oh, that one fired. Okay. So we might be able to make some money off of this. We might also lose some money in the process. But we might be able to make some money off of this. I will see. Like, like that look. That went right through the middle. Literally cut it straight down the middle. Not useful to me. Good. We don't have enough for uh, an item yet, so let's just do this. Interesting. Okay, so we, we goldified him, which is pretty good. Kind of going to use the creep here. But yeah, this is the mod here. We have um, greed-specific sprites for bosses, as you can see by this guy. Him being eternal has made that a little wonky. Um, but otherwise, it's it's fine. Him, this, this guy being eternal is, is really not good for us at all. And especially because they're in the birth eternal. I was hoping my Harlequin shot would do some damage there, but it seemed to do almost nothing. It seems that we did, unfortunately, lose our um, golden tears, which was an okay thing to lose, to be honest. We got a little bit of money out of it. It was probably going to cost us more than it saved us. I have to say, these babies are very annoying. Um, I, I, I can't believe it's not removed Harlequin shot yet, which is basically essentially the only one I want it to remove. Oh, this is saucy. But yes, different sprites for these guys is pretty cool. They do not interact well with, oh my god, are you kidding me? They do not interact very well at all with eternal enemies, but otherwise, it's weird that eternal takes precedent. I wish, I wish the other one would take precedent, but it is what it is. Okay, you're dead now, finally. We haven't lost a significant amount of health here, so we do have to be careful. Good, good. The creep did a good job there. Got a good bit of money. I think I'll just take a, a flat tier rate up here and be pretty happy with it. And keep her going. But yeah, for, as for the question of the day today, technology laser tiers, nice. Okay, interesting that we got two homing dudes here. Um, as for the question of the day today, what is uh, an item from another game that you'd love to see in Isaac referenced in some way or another? 
That'd be really cool to see. Because, I mean, th there's so many references in Isaac already. I'd love to see a few more Enter the Gungeon references, personally. Enter the Gungeon is obviously a game that I love. Uh, I've played a lot of. But, yeah, it'd be so cool to see more of that. By the way, I don't know if I've ever fought this champion version of Gemini before. I don't remember him at all. Okay, these babies, now that they don't fire Herming, are maybe easier. I think technology is a super good get for us right now. I'm going to try and keep it alive for as long as we can. Um, our Harlequin visuals have fit now as well. We're also not firing Harlequin shots anymore, so not too good. We'll leave that because we definitely want Angel Deal here. And we can't get either of those, so let's just... Keep on moving and grooving. But even some of the downpour bosses do have their own sprites too. So if we come across them, that would be pretty cool. Shielded Tears is incredible here. Although we do need High Fire it to support it. That's also really nice. Um, and I will check out the shop here, see what we got. I think Meat's probably a good grab. Spelunker's hat? Eh, not so good for us in this. Not so good for us. Okay, we've got some underground boys. One of them being a fast boy champion. Oh, you bastard. For some reason, I saw the rest of them being explosive, and so I assumed that one was too. It was very much not. It was very much not. But yeah, I'm trying to think, does the base... I don't think the base game has any Enter the Gungeon references. Obviously, there is a few modded ones out there. Bottom baby's great for us here. Yeah, there's a few modded ones out there, but I don't think there's many. It'd be cool to see more, more of that. I realise the game isn't going to get any new official content additions, so... It is just kind of a theory crafting thing, uh, sort of pretend or modders feel like adding it, but still, it's kind of interesting to see what people would like to see referenced. Both this game and Into the Gungeon are really good for referencing other games with their items, though. Okay, not having too hard of a time here. Technology is proving to be very good. Great thing about technology is infinite range means we can, for the most part, keep enemies very, very far away from us, meaning that we've got a much less chance of losing our wisps itself, so therefore having technology lets us keep technology sort of thing. Why do they always, always have to turn to Bernies? You have a chance to not, you know. Right, and then we'll take meat as well, just because our health is a little low right now. Uh, we'll take that. Ooh, Odd Mushroom is, is certainly a pretty good choice, actually. I think I will take Odd Mushroom. That was, that was close. Is this greedy boy. And this guy's Eternal as well, apparently. Yeah, the Eternals are really glitchy sprite-wise. Oh, God. Oh, no, I lost technology. How could you, game? How could you? How could you? I'm sure we'll get other, um, other great things along the way. But, yeah, we'll definitely take this for higher fire rate. I think with Shielded Tears, fire rate is way better than damage. Whoa, that guy looks cool. Although, I have to say, two of this boss is brutal. We're definitely going to lose some wisps here. Yeah, two of this boss is abso yeah, absolutely savage. This is way too hard. I'll try not to die, but honestly, they, no, no promises. Because this boss is really, really hard on his own, and there's two of them. And also, if you've noticed, the tears from the other guy do reach us, so... Yeah, now we're down to one. That does not make things much easier, though. And Shielded Tears doesn't do much for us either here. Because as you can see, he curves them around us. This guy is absolutely... Probably one of the hardest bosses in the entire game, in my opinion. He His patterns are just just really, really hard to predict. And even with Shielded Tears... like For, for one, not only are Shielded Tears not really blocking much, but also... Oh my god. But also, uh, we're... We're losing a lot of damage because of Shielded Tears. We're on half a heart now, so I would say that we're relatively game over here. This better be my Angel Deal button and not the regular boss button, because if it's the regular boss button, I'm going to throw down. Come on, we're so close. Okay, good. Please be something amazing. Bowl of Tears, and I think I'm going to take Bowl of Tears here. Bowl of Tears could be really good, especially with Shielded. Okay. Problematic going down to the next floor, certainly. We'll see how this goes. I would have loved to get that look, Penny, but you never know how that's going to go. Unfortunately, bombs are a bit rare on this. Flatstone could be interesting. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. I know it's not a great item in general, but HP is... Really? Oh, 
Did we just pick... We just got Luda. Luda's not helpful at all. For one, it literally... Do you know what? I need to get rid of this. It literally makes my spacebar item completely and utterly useless. You're eternal, so I'm going to get rid of you first. Okay, good. If this guy up here needs to go, you're annoying the hell out of me. This has gotten way too wacky. Yeah, we're dead. Okay, uh, we'll try that again. That was um, a pathetic run, full of shame. I think higher speed is going to be very nice here. Yeah, I think I think I made the mistake taking the key. I know I was trying to get my streak going. I wasn't expecting to die on Greedy with Bethany. Tainted Bethany, that is. But Greedy is a bitch. I love Greedy, but it is a bitch. Especially with Eternal Enemies in, uh, enabled. I do wish the Eternal Enemies mod had significantly more settings than it does. I realize it already does have a lot of settings. But there are so many things about it. Do you know what? I'm just going to restart. That's, that's a bad start. Uh, I'm not getting hit on the first floor. Um... Do you know what, game? Be nice to me. A halo, that's quite nice. Um, and we got Cupid's arrow, apparently. Nice. Yeah, um, it'd be nice if you could, like, disable certain specific eternal bosses, limit where they can show up, and, um... Like, limit if they show up on greed mode and stuff. I realise that's a lot of... That's, like, quite an ask, and that does make, like the point of having a hard mode mod significantly less good because obviously if you just turn it off everywhere that's useless but at the same time there's yeah there's a lot of places in which the eternal enemies and bosses can show up that are really tough like playing as the lost i don't ever want to see like i don't ever want to see an eternal boss as the lost it's just they're not compatible <laughs> unfortunately most of the eternal bosses are going to hit you unless you have a really stonking good build also by the way we got a key where from? Oh god, that's close. Firming as well. No, thank you, sir. Happy to have piercing here already. Will hopefully be a little bit of a, of a better run. We do have King Baby as well, which right now is pretty useless, but has potential. Stop skittering around, fool. Char charged baby. Ooh, charged baby can be really good. I can't believe this, this bomb spider isn't dead yet. Dude, you're taking so much damage. Come on now. Take the hint and die. The champions are just taking a while too. Okay, these are all eternal too. It's just like, eh, just stop with the eternals. There's too many. And it, it like also, what's with it? Oh, that's kind of good. What's with it, like, being like, hey, um, so, you know how we spawned, ooh, this is a cool looking enemy. Do you know how we spawned a single eternal enemy? Well, not everything in the room is eternal. Like, especially with bosses that happens. Like, why is, why are they all eternal now? It's just, it's just rude. Also, oh god. I wasn't ready for the haunt along with this. I don't have the damage to support killing the horn along with this. He, he looks really cool, though. I'll say that. I'm trying to get this dude to jump on these fellas. I'm not doing a very good job of it, I'll be honest. This is... Yeah, this is horrible. <laughs> Our damage is too low for this. Okay, we lost Cupid's. Brimstone. Good, good. Also, where's my... um, Where's my on-damage effect familiars that I was promised? I was told that on damage I would spawn um, some friendlies. That seems to be a complete lie. <laughs> I don't know where they're supposed to be, but they they sure as hell ain't with me. These bosses look really cool, right? Really cool. Okay, taken care of. Unfortunately, our items are hot trash. And a reroll took forever as well. Um, yeah, that's pretty decent. Nothing there that I can take. Good, good. Ah, oh. don't be eternal. But yeah, um, I was hoping for charge baby to duplicate, but 
Didn't get so lucky. Okay, Monstra with that. We've, we've got slightly higher than base damage. I think the Halo did that for us, which is surprising considering how poorly this is going. But hopefully we can get something that works with King Baby soon and then have um, our Trinket kind of make that even better. We'll see. Oh, this guy's taking forever to kill. It's not hard, but goddamn, it's taking forever. Did we get King Baby for real? No, we didn't. There's just our only two left, I see. Okay. Y'all taken care of. No devil deal for us, thank you. Down we go. Sadly, bombs, bombs are made way more useful with some of the mods that I'm using. I need to remember to buy them. Okay. Let's grab that. What the hell's that? Bonus damage based on speed and shot speed. Okay. Cube of rot, not so good. Especially for a key. If this was in the other room, I wouldn't be so bad, but... I suppose we got a lot of familiars now, though. That's kind of nice, I guess. Odd mushroom again, although... That does mean our damage isn't great. We got paid to win, though. That could have saved us... A, a bit of money there if I'd have known that was coming, but obviously I had no way of predicting that. Okay. I just love King Baby right now. He's like, look, look, I've got Battery Baby with me. Look. And it's like, yeah, that's 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 great, honey, but not doing much. God damn. It's, it's all familiars from here on out, apparently. Everything's a familiar. Don't step to me, boy. I wish I saw a Cupid's arrow. That would make me feel a lot better. This guy's got to die first. Oh, that is a god-tier trinket. I don't know where that came from. I think that came from my little chest. But that is a god-tier trinket. It's not triggered once yet, but it is a god-tier trinket. Is it? Okay, there you go. I was going to say something broken because it's just not triggering. But it has now, finally. Charmed Penny. I don't know what Charmed Penny does, but it dropped us some money, which I'm grateful for. Okay. Things are going interestingly. I think Nose Goblin is a build-defining trinket. I think that will significantly help us out. You're going to be annoying, aren't you? Luckily, the Nose Goblin has insane herming. So we should be able to get things pretty easily. Right, shop-wise. I guess we take this. This is more like a Lilith run than anything else, isn't it? Yeah, this guy's the fast boy. And unfortunately for us, Magneto. Uh, my, uh, is Magneto any, any good to us? Maybe? Magneto might be useful, actually. Fistula. I think Magneto might actually be pretty good. So we can snatch items from behind areas we couldn't normally get them, which I feel like is pretty useful. Fistula looks weird. I'm not sure what Fistula is meant to be. He's like a ball of fluff. Or is he just eternal? <laughs> I don't really know. I'm not sure what part of money related theme this ball of fluff is meant to be, but I'll accept it. I shall accept it. Okay, last bit of the boss. We just gotta do that was stupid. Okay, we finally actually summoned something, which is good. Right, I will take this guy as well. Give me that. Give me that. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh god. There's some random tiers behind us. Oh, that's our um, buddy in a box, actually. I don't know why I've gone all familiars in this build, but it's just kind of happened like that. Uh, this is another Eternal boss. Is there something still alive at you? Angel deal. You have Stairway for me. I feel like Stairway is definitely the best thing for us, but I don't have enough money to make it work right now. Oh, what? My item statue doesn't work on cards. 
That's a big sad. Yeah, I'm not going to even go into the stairway because I can't afford it. We did get a planetarium here. Which gave us Pluto and... Yeah, I'm just going to leave. <laughs> That's bombs. Box is kind of useless, but it is at least a key. Sanguine Bond. Also kind of useless. Um, ooh, Mother's Love is a great item for us here. We have a lot of familiars, so... And also open that bad boy up. Pretty good, thank you. More bombs. Crack these to open. See if we get some stuff. There you go. Thank you for that. Right, let's carry on. Easy as we go. Pluto. I doubt Pluto is going to be super relevant, to be honest. But it's it's here. Oh, God. That was close. It's here now. I suppose it is going to mean that dodging shots is a little easier. We can go under some of them or just sidestep them a little a little easier. Especially on bosses. Bosses seem to have, like, higher tier height, generally. Yeah. You need to go before anything else spawns, I'll be honest. As do you guys. Get the bugger tears on there. Euthanasia shots are very nice. Get the champion now. The bugger tears. Why don't they go with you? Depression. Thank you. That helps for motherly love though, so. Or mother's love, whatever it's called. We do want to try and have enough money for a stairway as well. But I definitely want mother's love. That'll be a huge damage upgrade, I think. I think it's damage. Is it just damage? It might be other stats as well. But I know for a fact it's at least damage for each familiar. It might give you some other stats as well. I don't quite remember what. Right, let's go grab it. Each um, grants us you a stat boost for each familiar. Okay, there you go. It's just a stat boost. So there you go. That's a, like a all-round good stat boost, especially the fire rate. And we can boost that even further by having even more familiars. So pretty top tier. Oh, that was bullshit. <laughs> I love the resprite of this guy, though. It's very cool. I would very much like it if he moved away from being at the very top of the screen where I literally can't hurt him. Oh, this is this is stupid. <laughs> I can't get behind you here. The only way I can hurt you is get behind you. Dude, stop jumping. Let's get more bugger tears from this guy. Ah, oh, come on now. Stop. Does this guy just jump? Is that all he does? Okay, crack that. Blanket is pretty interesting. How does Blanket even work on uh, Greed Mode? I don't actually know. The only problem here is we are going to lose some stats upon losing our Wisp because we do have some familiar Wisps, which is going to be a bit sad. But otherwise, it's all good. Otherwise, it's all good. This will be a devil deal, won't it? Yep. I might as well check it, though. Now that... <sighs> Both of these are really good, but it puts our health in really dire positions. I think it's very risky, but I think I'm going to take this. Just because being able to get Brimstone for the whole room is kind of incredible. Alright, Stairway first. Star of Bethlehem. Does Star of Bethlehem work in Greedia? I think it does. I'm going to take it and hope it does. It better do because Menorah is incredible. Um, It does good. That's very, very strong then. Willow's really good. The Screw's really good here. And I'm hoping we can buy at least one soul heart here. Yes, we can. 
pop that as well. Mr. Krabs, look at him. Right, this, this is going to be mighty incredible. Because now we have really fast charge rate, homing brimstone, and we get to double it. So we get big brimstone. We just got to stand here and we get big homing brimstone. And we get the chance to protect ourselves too. And apparently we're spawning black hearts on killing enemies now. Oh, that must be my, uh, that must be my little baby fella. Also, Sulfur now gives us extra damage on top of that. Bob's Curse, no plus five bombs, but there you go. Yeah, this is awesome. It's like having Sacred Heart. Oh my god, the stack. I always forget that it keeps stacking the damage too. Thank you, Willow, for being a great help too. Well, that went well. Beautiful. This was this was a good choice. This was a very good choice. Okay, we are gonna have a little trouble staying inside our ring here. But we can get some of it done. Especially when they decide to brimstone again. Also, just realizing how good this is with Buggerty is. Once again. Another black heart, that's perfect. Another black heart, that's perfect. I'm not going to take either of these. They're both good, but... Oh, we did actually find our... Um... I'll buy that. Just to pop in here. So we have our secret room here, which... I was about to say, could be good. It gave us three coins. Wait, what? I'm confused. This is a... What the hell? This is a mother chase room. Because look, it takes my items off me and stuff. That's bizarre. Why? I only have one question. Why? That makes no sense, but I... Maybe someone just did it to prove that you can. Seraphim being cheap is really good here, just because it gives us a stat boost as well. And I actually think the Rosary is a good grab as well. Um, Alright, let's just take this. On the corpse as well here, which is going to be kind of interesting. Cracked key use it here. What? I used it. Mm. It apparently apparently didn't care. Apparently didn't care. Out of want. Kind of interesting, but not really what we need right now. Ooh, ooh, I just had a really good idea. I just had a really good idea. We need to save up our red heart charges. Because if we do, then we literally have multiple charges for the actual boss fight of our uh, space bar item. Apparently I just have homing now. Game? No? Okay. We only need at least two charges. Any more is, is good, but... We only really need two. Enemies just keep spawning into our uh, thingies and dying. Wow factor is unfortunately an item I don't really want. Ooh, these guys have uh, got a resprite as well, looking very swanky. Very swanky indeed. As do these fellas. There you go. Taken care of. Look at that. I might have lost a lot of items there, but I think it was worth it to insta-kill that guy. Devil deal once again. The nail's really good, but otherwise, don't really care. Bob's curse, thank you. Item-wise here, we don't really want anything. Like, that's kind of good, but not really. 
Tiny Horn is, for one, a familiar, but for two, just amazing. And we got Conjoined as well. That's so good. That is so very good. Okay. Another stairway. Yeah, I'll take Divine Intervention. Why not? We got Seraphim out of that, so that's good. There's a fire right next to the door. Thanks for that. Okay. I think we probably just want to save our money from now on. We might want to see if we can buy red hearts. Oh, I accidentally stood on the button. I was wondering what the hell happened then. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that is very, very nice. <laughs> oh, god damn. What a combo. Luckily, our actual base items that we actually have are really good. We don't need to worry too much. Hello, heart. Th these resprites are really cool looking. Everything's dead again. Oh shit, there's another boss. I did not see that coming. Who the hell's firing light beams? I don't know, but it's helpful. Okay. Last little bit. Ooh, this guy's green. That's really cool. That's a really nice free sprite. Um. Yes, I'll take that. It's a decent damager. And then... Buy a soul heart. And I go down. I've got enough for two uses here, so yes, yes. Go down. Because we'll get another stairway on this floor, so. And that is why I brought that much money with me, because 30 cent gets us that. Not that that's actually very good for us, because obviously we are going to lose it, but otherwise good stuff. The coupon. Some good stuff there, to be fair. Right. Pop. Double pop that. This guy's Eternal. Wasn't really pre expecting or prepared for that. But, at the same time... Okay, our blast, our thingy moved. Sarah Bethlehem moved. I thought it was going to stay at the bottom. I would rather it be at the top. We should be just fine here, to be honest. We'd prefer him to go down the bottom. You're going to spawn another boss on me? Are you kidding me, Cotton? We got a rock gut in here from somewhere. Don't know how long we've had that. It's nice nonetheless. One of you did succeed. I don't really care because you're all going to die very quickly. Okay, yeah, you're going down pretty quick, sir. You're going down pretty quick. I like the way he just spawns greeds. Like, no. No, thank you, sir. No, you don't. Stop spawning greeds. They're actually quite hard to kill. Yeah, you're not healing here, sir. I love the fact that I can literally destroy all of the pennies he throws down at me. Like, every single one of them. Now, we're probably going to lose Crown of Light here, I would suspect. 
Also, slightly precarious spot for our um, Star of Bethlehem to be, to be honest. It's a little difficult to sort of stay out the way of a few things there. But I shall certainly try. I mean, we are killing him very quickly also, which is really nice. But yeah, those beams that are coming down. I kind of want to stay in the Star of Bethlehem, though, because it can protect me from damage, as it just did. It did knock me into other damage, so... Didn't end up going too well, I'll be honest, but... The thought that counts. And honestly, we've got so much health to work with here. We shouldn't need to worry much of anything about the damage we're taking. Especially considering we're only taking half heart damage for whatever reason that might be. I'm not quite sure what the reason is, but... Do you always only take half heart damage in this guy? That can't be true, right? That can't be true. It might be. But there you go. He is bested. That was a very good run. Definitely glad I took Sulphur. That was a, a top tier decision on my behalf there. And we unlock the Quasar Shard, which I've been waiting to unlock. And there you go. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.